Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these bourbon biscuit brownies. Let's begin. To get started, take a bowl and place in your melted butter, followed by the cocoa powder. Make sure that your butter isn't too hot, but it's still hot enough that it's melted the ingredients. You can then go ahead and mix the two together until they are smoother and glossier in colour and consistency. Then add in your granulated sugar and this will make the mixture much more granular, which is expected. But just whisk it in until it's fully incorporated. You will be able to alleviate the granularness of this mixture by adding in the eggs. Once your sugar has been fully incorporated, add in your eggs, not forgetting your vanilla. And just whisk everything together until it's fully combined this will help make the mixture smoother and glossier again which is what you are looking for so don't forget you can then go ahead and add in your plain flour followed by the bourbon biscuits and then your chocolate chips and fold everything together until it's all fully combined you're looking to make the minimal amount of mixing possible so doing it by hand you'll be able to control it much more than using a mixer and it also won't break down those biscuit parts too much once you've got your brownie batter stop mixing as you don't want to over mix grab your nine inch square cake tin which has been lined with parchment paper and add in all of that brownie batter in there as much as you possibly can smooth and level it out as best as you can as well it's a little more difficult with the large chunks of biscuit but don't worry, it can still be done. As long as it's roughly, you're good to go. Then I take dollops of this bourbon biscuit mixture that I made. So it's much more of a spread, and I will leave a link to that in the blog post, which will be linked down below, so don't forget to check it out. I place nine dollops on, but you can place more or less. Then take a knife and just swirl it throughout the brownie batter. You can't really see it once it's swirled in, but it does add so much flavor and texture. So why not? It's not needed, but it adds a lot of, to this recipe. So just before you place it into the oven, you can then go ahead and place on your bourbon biscuits. And for me, I like to place one for each portion. So for me, that's nine, but you may be able to add more or less. It just depends on how many you want per portion or, you know, if you want half of one and, you know, you can do it however you like. Once you've got your biscuits on, you can then place this into the oven and bake it off. All of that information will be in the blog post, which will be linked down below. So then I place these into the fridge once they have cooled down from the oven and this just helps to firm them up, making them much easier to slice up and actually much denser and fudgier, which is what you're looking for in a good brownie. You can then go ahead and slice them up to suit you however you like. I went with nine portions, but feel free to use more or less depending on how many people you've got to feed with these. And here is what they look like. They've got a slightly more baked edge and a much denser, richer center. And this is what I would call the perfect brownie. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, I'll be linked to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to all of my social media. So don't forget to check them out if you're interested. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.